G'day guys, Cass here, and today we're going to be playing The Rituals, Indie Horror Games, Steam Enhanced Edition. And yes, that's its proper name as listed on Steam, so that's what we're going to be calling it every single time I say it. So, let's start with the Steam description. About this game, The Ritual is a short horror game with FPS elements produced by indie developer AM Real Games. Will you survive in a world full of monsters where your gun and flashlight are your best friends? Turn off your light, wait for the night, and play it. Storyline. Game is divided into three chapters which take place on different handcrafted maps, plus two additional levels added in Enhanced Steam Edition. The story is not the most important thing here. Let's be honest, you want to be scared. Be prepared and save your ammo. What to expect? This is not a AAA game. The graphics is outdated, the story is weak as hell, but if you like retro games packed with monsters and jump scares, this game is definitely for you. Bad producer. I'm just an independent game developer. Don't be too hard for me, okay? It's my first game. The next one will be better, I promise. Have fun. Don't be too hard for me, okay? Let's see what's in the about. The Ritual Indie Horror Game is a short horror game with FPS elements produced by indie developer AM Real Games. Will you survive in a world full of monsters? Wear your gun and flashlight are your best friends and wait for the night and play it. I'm just an independent game developer. Don't be too hard for me, okay? My first game, the next one will be better, I promise. Gee whiz. Sounds good, and that is possibly the most infuriating text I've ever had to read. Let's start. It's gonna be another one of those games, isn't it? Lovely forest, do I have a flashlight? I do have a flashlight. Ooh. Okay. That looks straight out of flash. Oh, it continues. Your journey begins. You're a private investigator. Sent to this madness place. To find out what is going on. Be prepared for everything. The text is on the other side of the screen. Whoa, technology. P.S. I don't know why it's raining here. Please don't tell me it's going to be full of these. Good luck. And it just cuts out there. Okay. So now we have walking sounds. Great. That was really loud. One sec. Just thought it... Okay, just thought it might be worth mentioning. The game, for some reason, is called Chapter 1 in the audio mixer, and OBS recognizes it as Chapter 1. But on Steam, it's listed as, uh, let's just call it IndieHorrorGame.exe, for short. Well, hello, buddy. What happened to you? That was loud. Hello? Can I take that? No. Display purposes only. Do not touch the displays. Okay. Read note. Wow, that's bright. You probably thought that there will be some scary stuff written here. You were wrong. Grab the gun and start your journey. I hope you will be scared several times, or at least have some fun. That's why you bought this game, right? Not exactly, mate. Where's the gun? Press E to pick up Magnum. Okay, it made me read the note again, but sure. You know, I thought when I halved the game's volume, it might do something, but... That was... That's a good start. How you doing? This is going to be an experience. Okay. Oh. Where have I heard? I think I've heard that sound effect in SCP Containment Breach. Pretty sure I have. At any rate, it's definitely from some free sound site. Put the flashlight back on, we're going to need it. Not that it's any good. You know, I always wondered why every single YouTuber I ever watched always seemed to suck at games. Like, they couldn't hit anything and they always wasted ammo. Well, there's going to be some guys in the comment section hating me for this one. Uh... Okay, the lighting doesn't affect you, so something interesting must be going on. Are they just spawning by... No, he's in front. It's just... I was going to say conserve ammo, and then I missed. So let's not worry about conserving ammo, let's just kill 
stuff. That's a good word. Gotta get that PG-13 rating for mild gun violence. The horror is already setting in on te Oh my god. It's the model out of Verge. Lost Souls. Wow. That experience can only be described as cathartic. My god. Got plenty of ammo considering how bad I am. Okay, loads of horror stingers. I keep hearing noises like zombies are nearby. Oh. I didn't even take any damage. Worst zombies ever. Can I just run through this? And nope. Okay, critical mass. Do not aim for center mass. Wow, I am bad. Uh, all my years of Call of Duty. Yeah, just kidding. Nothing could have trained me for this. You know what? We're just going to aim for center mass. Pretty much cheating, but we're going to exploit it. They move way too fast when you hit them in the head. Nice door dot PNG you got going on there, mate. Where are these guys coming from? I'll just edit out all the parts with bad gunplay, that way you won't be able to see anything. I'm glad that you're still reading my note. Okay, before I go any further, at the top left of this note, there's a line. I don't know why it's there. It's just off to the side of the note at the top left, but it's really irritating me. Um, anyways, I'm glad that you're still reading my notes. You are probably wondering why are all people dead? Why are so many monsters here? Don't worry, soon you will find out. Right now, find some better weapon maybe? Honestly, don't know what could be better than something that one shots to the head. Maybe something that's a bit more ammo efficient, but still. Lovely field we got here. With whatever the heck that thing is. Okay, I just took damage. Really? It was... The body still... These... They're the same picture, they just don't line up. I'm pretty sure that one hit. 99% sure. Can we go on any of these houses or are we just going to get a door? Get yeah, a door. Got a hairball. Oh. I am completely lost. That looks like an interesting place. Let's go over there. gonna applaud this dev for one thing if nothing else you can actually sprint in this game and it does something slightly noticeable oh well best gun in the game let's go those poor guys have been killed by some creatures i know i know what a cliche you might say who cares well at least you found some better weapon grab this shotgun and start some real fight here okay don't worry soon you'll find out what is going on here you said that last time and I feel like we haven't learned anything else. But I've got to say, your fourth wall breaking humor, really doing it for me, mate. I'm completely immersed and having an amazing time. Okay. They're just going to play that sound effect every time there's a zombie. It's going to irritate the hell out of me. Guess we just go up the road. the last four bullets out of this to embarrass myself and continue. The ambience is absolutely nerve-wracking. Okay, so that one didn't spawn behind me, so we've got to Two of them this time. Jeez, we're moving up in the world. 
What is that shirt? That shirt is so horrific, I couldn't even look at it to get a decent shot, apparently. Okay. Saucy meatballs. No thank you, Bernard. It's you again. Ah, uh, okay, since you already came here, take all ammo from those shelves on the right. You'll need them for sure. Take the key as well, and cemetery will be open for you. But remember, it was closed for some reason, right? Probably not. Probably just closed, because that's the default way for doors. Ah, oh, ammo. Lovely. Do you want to see if I can go in that water? Raise your hand if you think this dev knows how to program swimming and doesn't make an instant kill. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh my word. I cannot move. I'm stuck. Okay, how do I get out of it? This was the worst idea. Okay. Never doing that again. There's a rock up here. Nothing. If you say so. Let's just go to the cemetery then. That is one hell of a gate. Uh, do we have a normal way in? Oh, it actually goes to this gate. Okay then. Was that Sir Daniel? We're moving up in the world. This torch is actually useless. Okay. Let's stick to the left. <laughs> what is with these games and religious symbolism? But, oh. Okay then. Guess the lag was just for show. Can I read this note, please? This is it. This is the right crypt. Take the key and go finish them. Find out what the hell is going on here. I'll just not. Radio. Where have I heard that sound effect from? from nowhere. Maybe he was hiding that bush all along. Up to a church. <coughs> and behind me. What is that? I mean, I lived, so it couldn't have been that impressive. If you can't even kill me, you're in for some trouble, mate. Okay, this strange ritual, cause of all this? I told them it was dangerous, but they didn't listen. It's just a beginning. Go to the book and check the evidence quickly. And I've killed everyone already, so... That is one hell of an image to fade out on. Is every single loading screen going to be this epic? And we just got an exception error. Zombie walk, lure not found. Will this crash it? Nope. Another zombie walk not found. Another zombie thing not found. Okay. Is it still going to load though? Because if it loads, I'll be fine. I don't need to see all the impressive zombie walks. I don't think anybody here came for the zombie walk animation. Another exception error. Global something rather. Might need a little bit more than just... No, it crashed. Right. Let's see if round two fares any better. And of course it didn't save my progress. Oh, of course. So, from a game designer point of view, 
why the hell is that locked with that key? Because you're just going to pop in here and grab the key anyway. Is it for this pointless jump scare? So we can call that a jump scare? Also from the same point, if I just run straight through here... Right. Let's see if it works this time. Why did it not give me arrows this time? In which reality? Chapter 2. Great. Your investigation led you to the city. Of course it did. From a crypt to the city. You have to go through hordes of monsters. Looking forward to it. You find some other clues. Still raining here? Yes, we get it. It was so funny the first time. Eh, I need to find some other animations. You're telling me, buddy. Anyway, be prepared for what it's coming in this chapter. Good luck. As in good luck hope the game loads, or good luck with the enemy. Okay, so the flashlight is creating this weird, like, bloom? Is that the right word? Effect? Where it's really hard. What the hell? Okay, I don't even know how to describe that. Why am I moving so fast this time? I mean, not that I'm complaining. Okay, then just take three shots. I don't need them anyway. I feel like he's up the zombie HP. time I'm not healing. What is this ambience? They're like I'm in a factory but I'm in the middle of an alley? Is that what we're doing? He just gave up on life. At this point, if you have to go into any... Could you hurry up and do me the favour? Great. Same dead lumberjack, dude. Got the exact same hype. Stinger into everything. It's great. I love it. Okay. Come over here. Why do you even bother aiming for the heads? I'm never going to be able to hit them. As I say that. That's going to look staged. Okay. Another one way. Nice lighting you got going on in here. Very immersive. Okay. Come on. Where's the zombie you spawned? No. Okay. There were a hell of a party down here. The ritual has triggered some dark forces. All people are dead. Okay, I can definitely hear something. I'm not going to sit and read through that note if it's going to mean that I have to run all the way back here. All people are dead. Most of has most of the has turned into monsters. But hey, at least you have something to shoot at. Reload your weapon and go further. Good luck. So glad I got to read that note. I'm not sure how my horror of experience. I'm not sure how my horror. I'll tell it again. I'm not sure how my horror experience would have gone if I didn't get to read more bad jokes.
Nope, nothing here. Looking. Uh oh, don't you dare crash on me. Low FPS detected. Yeah, that's because of you, mate. I'm pretty sure my PC can handle your game. Okay. It's just become a reflex now. Every single time I hear a spawn, I immediately turn around. Any sound effect? Turn around. I check to see if that wasn't an indicator of some random spawn. I'm going to be able to experience his inability to put an event trigger ahead of the player so you can't accidentally trigger something and then run past it. Like that, for example. Yeah, that part about the story not being good. So far the story is, uh, there was a ritual and people died. Which is really all you need in indie horror games, isn't it? Nobody cares about the story. There's no such thing as a horror game with a good story. It's all about the spooks. So, in the Steam trailer for this, there was a, a little slide that interested me where it said, Conserve your ammo. But I haven't even started on my shotgun ammo. So, I'm not really sure how uh, ammo conservation factors in. But, ah. Right. So it just locks your movement sometimes. They get mauled. Because why not, am I right guys? Why not create an atmosphere by making your play around me dump out? And stand still. Is this level over yet? I feel like we've been running in the same direction for about 20 minutes now. Nope. Still going. If you shoot like my fiance, you've probably lost all your ammo. Good one? No problem. Take ammo from here. I don't know where it came from, just take it and go. Your journey awaits. The monsters are waiting for you. Don't let them down. I was promised ammo, and I got barely any. Again with the locking my controls, maybe it's just after I take damage. Which I can think of no better punishment for the player than pretty much one hit deaths unless you get lucky and the controls unlock in time. But I imagine I can just get chain hit into death. Which will be a great way to end this uh, little experience. Can I save? Let, let's just do that for now. Why did it auto swap me to a shotgun? I saved just before the jump scare, apparently. What a jump scare it was. G'day again, guys. Cass here again. Uh, so, spoiler. It's the next day. Kinda got too tired. Decided it probably wasn't worth infusing myself with caffeine to uh, continue this. But we're back. And we're better than ever. And we're about to experience FPS... God, Cass, going through the dingiest zombie game you've probably ever seen. You know, until the next video where we probably play another zombie game. That looks even worse. The joy of creation. Okay. So, I'm pretty satisfied that for now, if there ever was going to be a part one, part one's going to be these two levels. Because the first level was maybe 10 minutes. If I cut out all the parts of me being bad, probably 10 minutes. When I had to rerun the level due to the crash, it took me about maybe 35 seconds to get all the way through it because I just sprinted. But level 2 is much, much longer and it's all just one way hallways. So, unless level 3 really throws a spanner into the works and does something really new and exciting. 
I'm pretty sure we're just gonna cut it short. This entire level just looked the same, it's so confusing. We've been going down the same alley for what feels like maybe 25 minutes. Nothing there. Okay. These stock zombie screams are really starting to do a number on me. Horror parentheses. Immersion. Indiehorrorgame.exe Now featuring a bench with so much gloom. Wow. All of them do it too. This is great. This is perfect. Oh, we finally have a note. Law and immersion. Continue. Okay, I have to admit that you are really stubborn. Double T for effect. The game graphics looks like shit, but you don't care. You really want to finish this game, don't you? Right. I just hope that you are having some fun. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say they look that bad. Just the assets aren't properly coded, so lighting effects. It's got a very 90s FPS vibe to it. Oh, which sadly has started also meaning that it's an indie horror game logged onto Steam. But it doesn't really look that horrific. You've just done a really poor job of coding in all the lighting effects so everything looks like it's on different layers and it all just comes off really cheap feeling. But visually the game is not horrific. As I say that. Maybe stay away from the straight terrain. What is that model? Yeah. Huh? Okay, that, I thought it was something else on his arm for a second there, and I thought we were going to be in trouble, but we're fine. At this point, maybe only due to the amount of effort it would take, I'm kind of wondering if I should just make a super cut of every single part where I've shot a zombie and uh, just continued and the level hasn't looked any different. So every single zombie kill just back to back to back to back. Finally, something different. Imagine the uh, torture I'll go through. I've had to rerun this level due to the next level crashing as well. Back up here. Then more gargoyles. Okay. This is going to be the end of the level. And probably the end of the video. Because unless level 3 looks amazing, I'm not going to torture myself with it. Only now just realising I probably should have saved before entering that area. Because if we crash on this loading screen, I have to reload my old save. Uh, I think I had a drink stick, guys. Oh. You know, I, I... Oh! Chapter 3, Final Battle. Radio. You're probably wondering why you came to this asylum. Oh, it's an asylum level. It's obvious those buildings are creepy. And you also found some evidences that you took it, that took you here. So, why would it be that you took it? No rain this time. Good work. Grab your gun and show them who's the boss here. This time will be harder. Have fun.
As I say to myself that I'm definitely not going to be playing the next level because it's going to be boring and the same thing over and over again, you throw the asylum level in. Okay, before update, that was our last meeting, but right now you've got two more levels with me. Hooray. If you haven't been scared already, this is your time. Just a little hint, check every corner and look for keys. You'll need them to finish this chapter. Okay. Right. This level is going to be one chunky mess of design. A key hunt in a endless hallway of this asylum. Color me not excited. So I think what's going to happen is I'll make this part one. Cut it here boys. So we'll cut this here. Make this part one, and then we'll do part two of this one. Beautiful. Okay. So, that's about all for now. I'll get this edited, upload it to you guys, and hopefully tomorrow I'll put some time aside. Well, I will put some time aside, because I'm dedicated. So I'll put some time aside. Get this asylum. Knocked out. Retiled, whatever we're going with. And get part two done. And I think we might quit it after the asylum because I'm not sure how much longer I can take this kind of gameplay. So I hope you guys have a good one. See you soon.